What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Shapeshift OS and this is one of the best ROMs I've tried on my Redmi K20 Pro. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and do give this video a thumbs up if you did actually like it. But anyway, um, I hope you've done that, but let's get into the most uh, basic stuff. So it is learning the latest security patch from, I mean, it's this 5th September one and it comes with Perf Kernel. And actually, there is a new version of this ROM that just came out today. I actually didn't flash it because I wanted, I didn't want to reset my battery stats because I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, it just has some some minor changes but there's one notable change that i will talk about so yeah uh, let's uh, let's uh, get into the shapeshifter setting and it, that shows all the customizations so if i go here uh, at the top there is status bar which has well all normal options that we find in other roms but it's just laid out a bit better but as you can see there's this cool looking uh settings settings like the the name i guess on the top left but uh, in quick settings there are about more settings like you can customize the blur and and the the number of rows and columns and you can change that clear icon to this i don't know why i didn't do this already and we can also um, show data usage in quick settings header and that says 1.1 gigabytes so yeah that looks really good now if i go into lock settings lock screen let me tell you guys this is one of the best um one of the one of the best ROMs I've seen in this category. So if I go into recognizing uh, animation picker, as you can see, there is a huge list of animations. And I've tried a lot of them. I came to settle on Tornado. I do like a few of these OnePlus as well, and maybe one of two from here, but the dev has done a really good job in adding all the animations, so you have a lot of options. And also this icon picker menu, uh, this is here. You can choose your own icon too, I guess but what you can also do is uh, change the color effect and this is the menu that has been updated this menu is the one that has been updated in the current build so instead of showing it this way it actually shows a picture so i'll put up that picture if i remember um, it shows the preview of each of these so yeah i asked the dev if he could do the same for the animation uh, like add a preview so he said he will do that in next build but um, also there's this really cool option, disable night light when showing fingerprint on display. So yeah, this is really helpful. So I do recommend you guys to turn it on. Otherwise your um, fingerprint on display may not work when night light is active. And there are a few more settings. You can pause the video if you want to go over them. Like there's a lot here. So let's actually choose this one. Let's see how this looks. So, oh. I don't know, I, in this clock type there is no date, but anyway. So I went to UI tuner and there is this option one UI. That is what the, this is what brought that settings logo there. So I recommend keeping this on. And you have a few more options here. So yeah, by the way, this blur power menu thing, it is also working. So yeah, also this MIUI style brightness slider. I like this one over the Android or the stock Android one. So I chose this. Also, by the way, the volume panel looks uh, the one the same as stock Android. So it's not that other new cooler one. But that's fine. And anyway, if we go into theme engine, this is where most of the theming happens, as the name suggests. Um, so you can change uh, accent color, status bar icons, and a bunch more stuff here. Oh, actually, I forgot about this. Uh, so you do have an option to change the volume panel. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't take note of this. So you don't need to worry about this. And now moving on, you do have a bunch of uh, font options to choose from. So yeah. And now if you go into notifications again, if you want to pause the video, I don't want to go over each and every setting because it does get a bit boring. And just, um, I know uh, it does get boring, but I don't want people leaving my videos. But yeah. By the way, you can also uh, control the um, playback, like the if you want to skip to the next song or whatever, uh, there is that option too. And now if I go into navigation buttons, navigation layout, that's not going to work here. So I need to show you something about gestures. So if I go into system 
gestures and then system navigation here this part I really like you can control the thickness and the length of this right from here and the thickness I think this is the only ROM maybe there's something else but this is one of the this is the only ROM I know of that has this thickness option otherwise you need to use the Google visual mod to get this thick um, um, what is this called the pill so uh, anyway if I go back here to shapeshifter is just miscellaneous stuff so yeah and by the way I'm using the CRT animation because it's the best one even though it's really old but yeah that is basically about it the customizations so yeah all right so guys uh, with that done now I wanted to show you guys this thing so I have 45% charge left and I have already a screen time of around seven hours and a screen off around four hours so this means I will get about 12 hours uh, of screen on time but obviously it's really late now so overnight drain will be substantial as well probably like three four percent but yeah and by the way I haven't charged in between so you can see the graph is from 100 till right now and it also shows a few extra stats here and this is in a few other ROMs too so yeah and if you're going to sound it's just a regular stuff um, if you want to pause the video as I said before you can do that and in display you do have DC dimming, DC dimming which works and you have well, that is basically if I go into styles and wallpapers and there's uh, if you want to see the number of clocks that are here so yeah there are a bunch of clocks as well to choose from but uh, yeah now let's move on to performance so performance personally it has been really good for me it's not like paranoid android which is smoother than this obviously but it that um, doesn't have a uh, battery life which is even close to this one so yeah a slight dip in battery life is fine i guess but uh, a slight dip in smoothness is fine i guess but as long as it gives me the better battery backup which is substantially better as you can see so that is fine i mean don't get me wrong the smoothness is pretty good because it, it by default comes with um oxygen os launcher so yeah also join my telegram group link below so if you have any questions you can ask me there as well but anyway um that is basically about it as you can see there is almost there is actually no frame drops right now and if you want to know anything about the wallpaper or anything do leave a comment down or ask me in um my on my telegram group so guys i almost uh, forgot to do the super fast app opening test so let me close everything in the background and that just basically includes opening a few apps and then actually um and then opening them really fast in just to see if there are any frame drops that's what i do on miui and that's just terrible on miui so yeah so as you can see it is working really well there are no frame drops there is the performance is top notch one of the best if not the best but yeah also guys i just wanted to do a quick fingerprint test so as you can see it is pretty fast probably not as fast as miui so yeah sometimes this does happen but it is pretty fast in general and it is uh, pretty accurate and this is happening i don't know why it's happening often right now but it's fine and also if you're wondering if the se linux status is enforcing and yes i can confirm that it is enforcing if you wanted to know if magisk hide works and yes it does although it doesn't work by default you have to go into settings and hide magisk manager and enable magisk hide and then obviously uh, use magisk hide for any app that you do want to use as um as you do want to use um like that uh, detects root and stuff so yeah all right so guys now the main question arrives and that is should you guys use this rom as a daily driver and my answer is definitely give it a try for me it has been really good i didn't have any specific issues i mean if i did have i would have mentioned that here actually i did have one that view wi-fi doesn't work but i guess it's fine for now but yeah that is one thing you do need to keep in mind so yeah i would say try out this rom it's one of the best roms i tried on my redmi k20 pro because the battery backup is just insane so yeah that is basically about it for this video if you have any questions please leave them down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one